Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. It's Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe. Personal reading link, everything you need is in the description box below. I also have uh, timeless readings, links listed below the, the video in the description box along with uh, readings, pre-recorded readings for like um, Virgo with any other zodiac sign. So go click underneath and check out all of those readings. Okay, you guys, they're brand new. Well, they're up linked brand new. Okay. So also, as if you did not know, I am uploading two more readings during the day. So go check those out as well. Now uh, there's two that have already been uploaded for today. And uh, if you didn't get a notification, make sure that your notifications are enabled here on your YouTube app and in your phone. Okay. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> Cassette, Twin Flames, Cupid's Arrow. Wow. All right. Somebody is replaying events over and over and over in their head, falling in love with you. This is a Twin Flame connection here. Um, there's a surprise invitation or meeting. Okay, so it feels like someone's replaying events over in their head. This feels like someone coming in that you already know. Okay, reconnecting. Um, let's take a look. Your twin flame is thinking about you, Virgo. <laughs> thinking about you, thinking about you. Okay, let's take a look. What is going on here with this person? Oh yeah, the sun. Wow. Very positive thoughts. They're thinking very positive things about you right now, Virgo. Okay. They got you on their mind. The sun, happiness, their thoughts. I, I feel like replaying conversations, good times from before, uh, romanticizing past memories thinking about you in a very positive way, all your goods, thinking about all the good stuff about you. Could be a Leo showing up here, could be a Scorpio. But yeah, this person, their thoughts are transforming them to come back in your direction here. There's gonna be a lot of um, uh, Cupid's arrows, a lot of quick communication and messages. Let's take a look here. I feel like this person is gonna come in with a confession it's going to confirm how they feel about you and that they are ready to make a change and start some kind of new chapter with you. They're leaving the past be behind, transforming, having a new beginning with you, this twin flame connection, right? And they have no idea that it's like they're going to take a shot in the dark. They have no idea how you're going to respond because maybe you ghosted or you guys just aren't communicating they're taking like they're shooting their shot blindly okay because they can't like <laughs> they're romanticizing thoughts about you here let's see oh wow ten of pentacles this person trusts you virgo they trust you and nobody else explicitly they t they trust you they want you to feel safe with them. Could also be Aquarius or a Taurus. They want you to feel safe with them. Hmm, that's interesting. Let's take a look. What the heck is going on? Yeah, they are trapped by these overplayed. They can't stop thinking about you. Okay, they may have sabotaged the relationship. They can't stop thinking about you. You're just constantly on their mind. They can't get away. They're trying to get away from these obsessive thoughts about you, but they can't. They can't. Yep, this person's coming in for a win, for sure. They look at you and they see that you have a lot of support around you, maybe even popular to some degree, or how much you're very well liked. What happened in the past? Hmm. There was some truth that got told in the past, Virgo. And that's probably your energy here. You know, the Queen of Swords can be your energy. It looks like maybe you dropped some truth bombs or said something. You might have been very direct in your communication or your words with this person. For sure. Maybe you divorced them. Or you just ended a relationship with them. 
something ended, much time has gone by. Obviously, something was said and you didn't really get a response. You might have just been like with your hand, like, are you going to say anything? Are you going to respond? Nothing. And here they are now, replaying over and over the events, the conversations. I'm hearing they, them saying to themselves that you were right about something, that you're right. They were an idiot. They were a fool, they're telling themselves. If they cheated or they ran away, it was the dumbest thing they ever did. Yep. Dumbest thing they ever did. Yep, they're coming in. Okay. They have the King of Wands here. So you could be connecting here with the fire sign. Like I said, a Leo could be an Aries or Sagittarius. You guys, I feel like I'm getting a fever. I'm mean, so stuffy. I hope I don't get the I hope I don't get the vid. <laughs> King of Wands, yes. I mean, this person is coming in very bold. They might even be traveling to you or coming to your house or like driving by and trying, or they're just driving by, checking out. I mean, I just feel like a very strong obsessive. But yeah, they're coming in with a conf confession. They've been thinking about this. They need to talk to you. They want, like, I feel like this person's been on their own. We have Virgo energy here, Cancer. I feel like this person's been on their own. Currently, they're on their own. They're isolated from others. They're doing a lot of reflecting. A lot of reflecting. Yep, thinking about things. They were hesitating, and I feel like that's what they are going to tell you. They're coming in with a confession to confirm that what you said or, or the conversations that you guys had or whatever might have happened where they might have said that you were wrong or they avoided or dismissed you. Now they're coming in with this. No, you were right. So does that mean an apology for have, for some kind of argument? Yeah. Lovers after a three of swords energy after a breakup, for sure. I mean, this person, like, you are their match. It's a twin flame thing. Definitely. And the twin flame energy is always, you know, about growth. It's always one person. When you guys are in separation, that's when that that yearning and that longing happens when two people who know they're meant for each other aren't connecting because there was some kind of discord or something happened. This person doesn't want to be without you. Now they realize that you are, you're the one for them, right? I think they kind of knew that but they didn't want to face themselves. You're perfect for them in their eyes. Yeah, they're obsessed. I'm telling you, Virgo. I mean, so much so this person's going to commit totally, like fully commit to the relationship, to honoring it. So being in the relationship to not committing so much to you, but to the relationship and following the rules, conforming, to the rules of a traditional relationship or marriage. Okay, you're going to be mighty surprised, especially when they come in to confirm uh, this person's been keeping their eye on you. They have not. They've they've kept tabs on you. They're keeping tabs on you. They're very curious. They're not sure how you're going to respond, but they're shooting their shot. Here is what I feel. Yeah, it's going to be a shocker. It's going to be a total shocker. This person, um, you know, rolling back through into your life here. Let's take a look what their hidden truth is. Their hidden truth. Oh, I'm starting to understand our connection. Yep, that's what I'm saying. It might have been like um, a situation between two people here where there was a lot of like push and pull. One would push. There was like no movement, so there was a lot of pushing and pulling and that kind of thing. Maybe you let it go. I don't know what you did, but I know that they're thinking very positively about you. And I feel like this person really respects you, that you are honest and truthful. Like they have even more respect and that you're not a doormat. You weren't a doormat? Yeah, this person definitely going to tell you that they love you. If they never told you that before, you're going to hear it. If, if they told you that before, but you were like, oh, but you don't act like it. Well, no. They do love you, and they are going to show you. But the confessions coming in, that they lay awake thinking about you, they can't stop thinking about you, 
be playing those old conversations over and over. Yeah, you don't know how hard it was to let you go. Yeah, because at first, <laughs> please, at first I don't feel like, I don't feel like it was hard for them to let go at first because their pride was in the way. But once their pride, you know, because pride can't stay that long. Once that removed it, once that was gone, and then they fully had to let you go, that's when I feel like this person was like, oh no, that's not what I needed to do. I should not have let Virgo go. Yep, I left before you could leave me. Yeah, so they might have stormed off or just agreed to let you leave, which is just the same as leaving themselves. Yep, they're going to tell you how they feel, which is that they do love you and that you were right. You're the best thing in my life. They know this. And we'll be together again. So I do feel like this person, you know, they have faith that you guys can work through whatever this is, this situation. But they know that in order to make this happen, they actually have to acknowledge their role or their part in the situation. Like whatever happened here, they realize they have to acknowledge this part. So this is what their confirmation of confession is going to be, that a bit humbling like yeah you were absolutely right and I was acting the fool and my pride was getting in the way and instead of just working through the problems I just left but I'm still in love with you and I've always been in love with you and I was just immature and didn't know how to handle the situation Yep, there were obstacles that I did not know how to handle because I had unhealed wounds. I was too afraid to face my pains, my unhealed wounds. Okay. And I viewed you as like some kind of red flag for me, but it was me that was the red flag. This is what I hear this person saying to you. It was me who had the red flags. I, like them confessing to you that they had the red flags that you were probably calling out, you know? I mean, look at the, it's almost like she's got red gloves on and a red face, <laughs> red hair. Uh, like Virgo, you were all like, there's red flags everywhere. What's going on? What the hell's the deal? Like you might've been really hot tempered about something, but you were right. And they know you were right. Okay. You're safe and divinely guided. Protect this relationship. Yeah, because it's twin flame. It's meant to be. <clears throat> I don't think that there's this energy like, I don't know, somebody might have catastrophized a situation like a breakup um, or an argument as being, oh, this is it. It's over forever and ever. I'm never going to see this person again. I don't think that's the case at all. I don't think that's the case at all. Because if, if, you, if you have two people that are butting heads especially in the twin flame connection you have two people that are butting heads like when the love is there you know i've heard stories of people getting upset they've had arguments over chocolate milk and they don't talk for 24 hours but they're in the same house and they use different doors to go in and out of the house and they just kind of squirm past each other in the hallways they come back and they sort it out because the love doesn't allow for resentment there's forgiveness. That's what the love is. This, all this forgiveness always happens. So if your story is, is more severe than this, it's probably not for you. This feels more along the lines of like there was some kind of breakup or somebody just wasn't telling the truth. And I feel like that the truth had more to do with, um, you know, it's never really about what somebody does. It's about when they lie about what they do. Or it's never about what somebody doesn't do. It's more about the lie. Because I feel like most people, like even Virgo, I know for you, I can speak for you because I'm a Virgo. If you find out that somebody's cheating, you want to know the truth, right? If they're cheating, if they're going and messing around, you want to know the truth because the truth sets people free. And the truth, when, given, when the truth is given, Virgo can then look at it and then make a decision can can decide how to accept that truth and then make a decision going forward but the lie is so much worse than the actual act or lack of act 
acting. The lie is like, lies are awful. They're just awful. And I don't mean like little white lies. Like, <laughs> you know, you took a cookie, you're going to replace it tomorrow. No harm done. But the, the big red flag lies, I feel like the big red flag is the lying. Not so much what somebody was doing. Because when somebody lies to you, like then they have like you guys are living in like a fake place you know what i mean so whatever the lie was that you you must have called somebody out this person your twin flame on their lie and then they stomped off and they didn't want to deal with it now they're coming in to confess yeah virgo i did lie and you were right and i still love you and work on this okay year of the rooster year of the tiger by the way yesterday um in the in the seven of cups card remember i thought it was like bacon in a cup or a skinless alien it, yeah you're right it's a dragon so thank you to everyone who commented and posted in the chat that it was a dragon i still kind of I, like i don't fully see how it was a dragon but i guess a red dragon if you listen to yesterday's reading you know what i'm talking about a red dragon all i think of is when i think of red dragon i just i think of china I think of the country China, the red dragon. I don't know. That's what I get. Or it could be um, House of the Dragon. Something something involved there. Okay, Year of the Snake. We have Year of the Rabbit. We have Year of the Ox. Year of the Dog. Year of the Pig. Year of the Dragon. There you go. This is like a peacock dragon. I mean, this dragon has like eyes all over it it's like a peacock dragon dragons are pretty pretty to look at but they also they flex dragons flex <laughs> with their fire right all right let's see what else is coming up here for you anything else that virgo needs to know in regards to this reading Mercury retrograde, electronic issues, communication issues, re review everything. So I know the Mercury retrograde is coming up in August at some point. I'm going to have to mark it on my calendar. But this might be feeling like, or you might be feeling like you're in a Mercury retrograde where nothing's going right. I think there might be like Pluto might be retrograde or some other stuff still. Um, but there might be something here to do with, it, it feels so intense. And it's not like, for example, we had that big global IT outage, right? That's a that's a high level Mercury retrograde event, and it wasn't Mercury retrograde. So, I can't even imagine what the actual retrograde is going to be like, you know. But the the message here is review everything, Re take a review, look look again, double check stuff. All right, your intuition, the red flags you ignore now will come back to bite you later. So. <laughs> You might be telling yourself that about this person. If they don't address these red flags that you see in them, um, as far as a relationship goes, in order to, to have a healthy relationship, these things need to be dealt with. It, you, I feel like you're saying to yourself in your minds, it, like in your mind about this person, like if you don't, if you don't address your issues, you're just going to keep repeating this cycle. And that's that twin flame thing, right? That's what twin flames do. They always teach each other, ugh, teach each other stuff. Okay, somebody's got a gambling problem. That could be the red flag. Problems with addiction or gambling, bad finances. Yeah, that could be the big red flag. Lying about money, lying about the finances, right? And that might be affecting the relationship. When someone has an addiction or a gambling problem, as it says here, uh, that's just a big red lie sitting there in that relationship and the partner suffers too the partner who's involved with someone who's involved in an addiction gets breadcrumbed all the time that they're like having enough that the, the person here is having an affair their addiction has captured them they don't have anything available to give to you but when they get satisfied when their addiction they're fixed, they get their fix, then they're back and available until they start jonesing again. And so it feels like a very hot and cold relationship. It's always addiction involved. Anybody, anybody who's running hot and cold, there's some type of an addiction involved. 
or a commitment somewhere else. Okay, always keep that in mind. People aren't just hot and cold for no reason, unless there's like a severe mental disability. Okay, divorce, experience a breakup, right? But it showed up in the reverse. So you guys might be actually settling some things here if you have a divorce from this person or a breakup. Uh, things are going to start turning around because look, this communication, you know, in reverse is going to bring these hearts back together. And you guys might even shed some tears. I feel like this person, though, is going to instigate to have you and they work stuff out. <laughs> Narcissist, someone too full of themselves. Yeah, that was an issue. That definitely was playing a role. That's where that pride comes in, okay? Just being very selfish. Being very, very selfish. Being too full of themselves. You, maybe you called somebody on that. Called out, called somebody out on that, okay? Definitely got a vacation coming up soon or you're on vacation right now. Mighty surprise, you got a commitment coming in. Like I said, this person's definitely going to be apologizing and admitting their wrongs. And let me tell you, it's not a full-blown narcissist. Because narcissists aren't going to... The only time a narcissist is going to admit that they're at fault is when they add the word, but you made me do it. If you get the but, then they're not really sorry. If it, I don't think this person's going to add a but. <laughs> so I don't think they're a full-blown narcissist. I just think that they're selfish because of their addiction. And they're just full of themselves. They have been. But if they come in and they're like, look, I'm really sorry. This was It was like this and it was like that. But... If you hadn't said this or if you hadn't done that, so that's just putting the blame back. It's not taking accountability. To pay attention to the butts. <laughs> okay, is there anything else? I'm probably gonna, I think we're gonna, just gonna go seven, the seven or six more minutes. I was gonna go a little bit longer, but I'm feeling it today. I don't know what's going on. Like I've been coughing lately and I've had trouble. You know, it's always the same with me. I don't know if it's allergies or what. I eat so good. I take my vitamins, but I just like, I feel feverish. All right. Anyway, so it's all right. We keep going, right? Okay. You have the star. Wow. Have faith. The future is bright. Dreams come true. Positive changes that bring an end to challenging times. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. This is good. This is renewal, hope, faith for sure. This is healing this twin flame healing. But yeah, this person's going to come in and confess and confirm to you that you were right and what you said was true. And they were at fault for not holding up their end of things. And they're going to do something about it. Okay, nine of swords. Unfounded fear, expecting the worst, thus creating self-fulfilling prophecies, allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the situation sleepless nights refocus your thoughts yeah you might just be worrying right now but the star <laughs> that's why you need to have the faith okay faith and fear cannot coexist so you can choose you can sit there and worry and fret and stress yourself have sleepless nights depress yourself or you could just have faith and ha what is having faith it's like you know what Everything's going to work out. I'm not worried about it. Everything's going to be fine. The, the, whatever, whatever way things are going to work out is the way it's meant to be for me. And that's in my best interest. And it's going to be fine. Okay. So you have the Queen of Cups. Loving, compassionate, psychic, self-sacrificing. You have deep psychic insights. You care for others. But sometimes you forget to take care of yourself. Trust your intuition. A deep love of family and friends. And follow your heart, Virgo. That's, that's all you. That's all you. That is all you. Okay, waiting for an answer, right? Maybe you've been, maybe you've been sitting by the phone waiting to hear from this person. Maybe you've been checking messages, seeing if they have replied yet. Or you have been looking for that email response or response to your letter. Whatever it is, or maybe some of you, you might have been doing that full time, waiting full time, or you've been just kind of checking here and there, but staying busy. 
um, I would I would advise you to just don't wait put things on the back burner get busy with your life that's usually when the that's usually when the mail comes when you're not paying attention okay you have new love beginnings so you do have a motherly figure guiding you you are divinely blessed open your heart to receive cherish your children animals and be one with love in this situation and you got a new passionate start heading your way oh yeah things are gonna light up again virgo all right let's get some charms here oh you have a blue rose just i think was it earlier today in one of my readings you had a, a red rose or was it last night now you have a blue one a sapphire rose it might even be a black rose but this rose is specifically for you virgo a blue rose you know even if you're born in august i know if you're born in august as a virgo your birthstone is peridot um but that's fine okay because we got some green on this rose too in the leaves so a, a blue a blue rose significant to someone you also have oh somebody's cat is getting an x-ray i just heard or dog is going to be needing an x-ray or we'll be getting one i hear my dog right now he's moaning he's whining he just went out i think he misses me when i shut my door you can saw like you can hear him out of the outside the door he's like, <laughs> all right and then you have this skull and crossbones okay so i just feel like be careful if you have a pet i feel like be careful um that your pet doesn't be careful if your pet chews grass or flowers and i feel like maybe somewhere in a garden or where there's grass or something because i'm i'm seeing like some kind of bug treatment or something um so be careful you make sure when you're out with your pets like you're not walking them on treated areas i'm just hearing you might inadvertently and not even realize it and so your, your pet might be like <coughs> you know need to take them to the vet that's the biggest message i'm getting here with this i will give you just a few of the scrabble things all right we have aries aries and leo very strong fire energy aries leo sagittarius sun moon rising or venus someone's born in 1983 i'm hearing becky or becca Someone calls somebody Bay or Baby. Okay. Um, somebody calls somebody Sexy. Hey, Sexy. Well, what's going on? <laughs> um, somebody's initials A B. Sexy X. Sexy X. We have the letter S. Somebody drives a sob. Somebody's in Texas. Uh, the letter E. Letter X and the letter Y. Um, Somebody's name is Abe. Abe. Sable? The name is Sable. Um, somebody's zipper breaks. Breaks or broke? Just broke. Something to do with a, a, a zipper. Um, <clears throat> Beasley. I'm hearing the name Beasley or Bees. And also, um, Bess, Bess or Bessie. Uh, okay, hold on. I just had something here and it's gone. Asa, I'm hearing Asa. Somebody plays a saxophone. Beeswax. None of your beeswax. <laughs> Somebody says it's none of your beeswax. That's cute. None of your beeswax. Um. Uh, I just heard Mesa City, Mesa, I guess that's in Arizona, Mesa, earwax, something's going on with somebody's earwax, somebody likes the old group sticks, somebody's last name is Sayer, okay, um, Somebody, when they say goodbye, they say byes, like byes, B-Y-E-S, byes. Somebody's 
name is Za, X A, Za. Okay. All right, so I'm going to leave that there, you guys. Um, I hope that gave you some insight. Again, personal reading link is in the description box below, but do go check out all the other links. So, like, if you are a Virgo who has a relationship with, like, say, a Cancer, I have that timeless reading, the link below. So it's like Virgo with Cancer. Um, if you have a relationship with... Um, uh, Scorpio there's Virgo and Scorpio um, so you can guys can go check that out um, the, there's only a couple of signs that I have still to get up that I haven't done yet which are um, excuse me I'm gonna tell you right now let me tell you what's down there so like they're timeless readings Virgo with Scorpio with Libra Another Virgo, Leo, Cancer, Gemini, Taurus, and Aries. I still have to do Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. They'll be coming soon. I also have a reading, Will Your Timelines Ever Connect? They're down below. And I have a Virgo Twin Flame Timeless Special Edition reading. They are 11 11 each. So they're they're not free, but you can download it once you purchase it and you can listen, you keep it. And you can have it for however long you want it. Right? You can always just go back to listen to it if you like. And that's just one way if you want to support the channel that you can do that. You don't have to get all of them. <clears throat> um, the Virgo Twin Flame Timeless Special Edition reading, I don't think that specifies a sign. So if you have like a bunch of different signs you're curious about, you could always get that one. Um, and I've updated all my links underneath my channel. So yeah, definitely go check that out. And I did put a shout out my community tab um, for uh, a couple of people who just became members of my channel. And um, so thank you for becoming a member of my channel. I don't even know where the heck they went. They're here somewhere. Um, but we did get some another new member. So you can become a member, $2.99 per month. And Blue Lotus, welcome. She has rejoined again. Yes, Mira7266 and Chineka Wajendra, welcome. So greatly appreciate you guys being here. All right, so don't forget, check during the day. Make sure you have your notifications ticked and enabled inside your phone as well as on the YouTube app if you use the app, okay? So you get notified when I upload. So I'll be uploading two extra videos during the day. All right, you guys, love you, and I will see you all back here tomorrow. Take care.